All right, guys, so today we are going to talk about something called frames and arrows. And essentially what it is, if you look here, you're always going to see a rule. You're going to see some shapes. Um, these ones happen to be squares with numbers in it. We call those the frames. And then, of course, we have some arrows. And so what this means is whenever you see an arrow like this, we should count up by ones. So if you look here, here's a three and here's the arrow. So I need to count up by one, four. Count up by one, five. So what would be my next number? It should be, oops, it's on white. I need to get the right color so you guys can see it. Five, six, and then of course, we need to add one more. So you should have seven. Now here it says count back by twos. So we always kind of really have to think about what they're asking. So here, every time we see this arrow, we have to count back. So 12 take away two is 10. 10 take away two, 10, nine, eight would be eight. Eight take away. Go back to seven, six. Count back by two, five, four. And counting back two more would be two. Okay. Um, here's another count up by ones. I think you guys can do the ones one pretty quickly. Count up by ones, 11, 12. My favorite number comes next. 13, 14. 15, 16. The count up ones are kind of nice. Here's the one we're counting by 10. So adding 10. So 0 plus 10 equals 10. So just think of counting by 20s. 10 plus 10 is 20. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now, if you didn't know, what 10 more than 40 was, you could go on your number line and of course you would start at 40 and then you would count up 10 hops. And I will have a number grid on the back page of the of our seesaw for you to use in case you need it. Um, here's one takeaway two, so 10, we just did one that was kind of like this. So 10 minus two is eight. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. Now you can see the next box is there for us. So 4 minus 2 is 2. And then 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay. So you're going to have a few of these. All right. So here's our next one. And here, of course, the rule says subtract 5. And so sometimes, you know, we know how to count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. But sometimes counting back could be a little bit trickier for us. So here you can see they've already started a few for us. So 25 take away 5 is 20. 20 minus 5 is 15. Now if I wasn't sure, I could go on my number grid. So here's 15 right here. I'm actually going to grab my highlighter to make it easy for you guys to see. Oh, that's my pen. I want the highlighter. So I'm going to start on 15, and we're going to count back five hops. So here's one, two, three, four, five. So that lands me at 10. And then I need to go back five more hops. So I'm going to keep going. Here's one, two, three, four, five. And then across five, take away five is zero. Okay, so those number lines can be very helpful for you. I'm going to erase these lines real quick because we're going to use the same number grid on pages going forward. So, okay, so here in your math journal, and I know you guys don't have your math journal, but I'm going to do a couple with you on here, and then you guys are going to practice. So I'm going to bring that number grid in here just in case I need it. So this first one, I think you girls and boys can do on your own. 
Um, it says add one, so let's just say counting six, seven, seven plus one is eight. Okay, and then I want you to finish those out. Number two, subtract 10. 50, take away 10 is 40. 40, oh, if I don't know, again, I can go count. So I'm going to go on 40. Now I'm going to start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if you remember from our lesson on um, Tuesday, our count by tens are actually in a column. So 50, 40, 30, 20, and I want you guys to finish the last two. This one here, you're going to count backwards by ones, count forward by 10, and then count up by fives. So I'd like you guys to give it your best shot. Um, so you'll go back to Seesaw and go ahead and fill in the missing number. And then um, let me know if you guys have any questions.